Now the next laptop I'm about to introduce needs very little introduction. You've been wanting it and I finally got it into the studio to give it my review. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the all new Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 7th Gen, all new for 2019. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. Today's video is brought to you by Who Keys, one of the best places to get game keys, Steam CD keys, Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, and so much more. Okay, here's how it works. Need Windows 10 Pro, no problem, $13.83. Hit the buy button, put in my special 15% discount code, AMD15. Hit the apply button and it brings it down to $11.76. A steal in my opinion. It's that simple. It's that easy. Paying is easy and safe. And I have to admit, I went through the website myself many times and I can't believe some of these prices. They're that good. Head on over to whokeys.com for some great savings and remember to use my 15% discount code and tell them Andrew sent you. And I want to thank WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. Now before we get to the unboxing, here's a quick rundown of the specs. What you're looking at is a 14 inch display. I have two of the options, we'll talk about that in just a moment, they're both good. It's powered by the Intel 8th generation Whiskey Lake processor, it's a quad core processor. It also has the Intel UHD Graphics 620. There's no dedicated GPU option, so keep that in mind. You can get it with 8 or 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, up to 2 terabytes of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. This packs a 51 watt hour battery, you have optional LTE, Intel dual band wireless, Bluetooth 5.0, comes in very thin and light package, 2.46 pounds or 1.1 kilograms. It has a starting price of about $1,250, price is tested, fully decked out, you're looking at around $3,500 on sale right now for about $2,100. But that's enough with the specs, let's find out what you get inside the box, let's open it up. You get your extension cord as well as a 65 watt power adapter. It uses USB-C to charge this device, some documentation including your safety and warranty information and a setup guide. Now of course you get the unit itself and wow, holding it for the first time, you gotta love that thin and light design. It is a nice stealth black look, it is absolutely gorgeous. Now I absolutely love the look and feel of that carbon fiber exterior, but one thing you will keep in mind, it will be a major fingerprint magnet, you will be wiping it down quite a bit. Now as far as ports are concerned, here's what you get. On the left side are two Thunderbolt 3 ports that support data charge and display out, a breakout port for your ethernet, a USB-A 3.1, HDMI 1.4 and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Moving over to the right side, you have your power button and another USB-A 3.1, a heat vent, and of course a Noble lock port. Now notably missing is a micro SD card slot. Now if you go for the optional LTE, you will find that SIM tray on the back of the device. Okay, let's talk about the display options. One of the best parts of the X1 Carbon are these two new display options. One is the UHD HDR400 Dolby Vision display. That's the one on the left. And the one on the right is the all new Full HD version that gets up to 400 nits. Now, both are really good, but again, one will give you better battery life. One will be better for the creative professional. Let's start off with that UHD version. It's a Dolby Vision HDR400. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's got really deep blacks extremely vibrant colors. In fact, when I first saw this, I thought it was an OLED display. I kid you not, it's that beautiful. Now, one of the things you're gonna love about it, it's also a very bright display. Now, Lenovo claims that this panel will get up to 500 nits in terms of brightness. I actually got 426 in my testing, which is really bright in its own right, good for both indoor and outdoor use. It's also an anti-glare display, so you don't get any unnecessary reflections or glare, and I love that. And it covers the color gamut really well, 100% sRGB, 84% Adobe RGB, so for those creative professionals that do Lightroom, Photoshop, and video editing, this is an excellent choice. It has really deep blacks, really good contrast, and has very good color accuracy. 
This is also an HDR 400 display. Watching things such as Netflix, YouTube with that high dynamic range makes this an excellent choice for consuming media. And they also love the fact that it has some pretty slim side bezels. There is a bit of a chin on the bottom and there is a space on the top, of course, to house the hardware for the webcam. Now, for those that are looking for more longevity, better battery life out of the X1 Carbon, Lenovo offers a brand new 14 inch full HD display. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now they claim this display gets up to 400 nits. I actually got 328 in my testing, which is actually pretty good once again. Also good for indoor and outdoor use. It also covers the color gamut very well. 98% sRGB, 75% Adobe RGB. So again, those creative professionals can see this panel as being a good option in its own right. Now it also has some really deep blacks, really good contrast, very vibrant colors as well. It's just not as bright, not as vibrant as that UHD Dolby Vision display we just took a look at. Now don't get me wrong, this Full HD panel is really good and you will save not only money, but you also get better battery life. Now, me personally, I don't think you can go wrong with either panel. It just depends on what you want to do with the X1 Carbon. If you need that longevity, then go with that Full HD model. Again, if you're doing creative work, go with that UHD 4K display. Now, as far as that battery life is concerned, let's take a look how it compares to some of its competition. As you can see, the Full HD model did really well, 10 hours and nine minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. The UHD version, the HDR version, got five hours and 16 minutes. So you can see it's about half the battery life for that beautiful 4K UHD display. The good news is if you do need to plug in, this applied 65 watt power adapter will give you 80% in 60 minutes. It gave me a full charge at one hour and 45 minutes, and that's pretty good. So this is the front facing camera on the all new Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 7th Gen here for 2019, 720p, 30 frames per second. Definitely good for Skype, definitely good for video conferencing. I'd say it's okay, not the best I've ever seen, certainly not the worst. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. And I love the fact that it has the Think Shutter switch, allowing you to turn off your webcam, giving you more privacy and security. But remember, it doesn't turn off the microphone. And speaking of microphones, the new 7th Gen X1 Carbon comes with four new top-facing 360-degree, 4-meter far-field microphones that vastly improve voice pickup. This all equals improved voice over IP conferencing performance and a better experience with Cortana. And in addition to the Windows Hello camera, you also get a fingerprint scanner located below the keyboard on the right side of the trackpad. It worked well, registering my finger pretty much every time I used it. Great for Windows Hello login. And I love the fact that you can fold the screen all the way flat as you see here, giving you the perfect viewing angle each and every time. I think all laptops should have this feature. Love that this has it as well. And this has a legendary ThinkPad keyboard, excellent key travel, good tactile feedback, really comfortable typing for extended periods of time. And it has a multi-stage backlight, the keys light up white, allowing you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment, all working well on this front. And the Precision Touchpad works really well. It has physical mouse buttons, two finger scrolling works really well. All your Windows 10 gestures work as advertised, all good on that front. Now, one of my favorite pointing devices is here. Of course, it's the track point, very responsive. One of the best ways to navigate through the OS. Now, when it comes to performance, you won't be disappointed. In fact, take a look at some of these benchmarks. Look at the PC Mark 10 score, it did really well. That's a good indication of what everyday tasks will do with this. As far as general use is concerned, check out the Geekbench 4, both the single core, multi-core scores, and of course the Cinebench R15 score, all very good, especially for a thin and light laptop. Now this is an excellent laptop to do productivity work, such as Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, Photoshop, you can do video editing on this. Of course, 1080p would be fine. 4K video editing, I would connect an external GPU. Remember, there's no dedicated GPU option. Now, when it comes to gaming, this of course is not a gaming laptop. You can play some of the older titles if you lower the settings. It will give you some playable frame rates, especially with something like Bioshock Infinite from 2013. But if you wanna play some of the more modern titles that require more processing, more graphics power, this really is not meant for that. And again, if you're gonna use an external GPU, GPU, then you have that option. But again, it adds to the overall cost of this laptop. 
Now Lenovo makes it really easy to access the inside of this laptop. All you need to do is loosen the captive Phillips head screws, remove the bottom plate, and you're in. Now once inside, unfortunately not much is upgradable. The only thing you can upgrade is the SSD. The RAM unfortunately is soldered in. You won't be able to upgrade that. And speaking of the SSD, check out these excellent reads and writes. Now, as far as thermals are concerned, I thought they did a pretty decent job, although when you're really stressing it, it will start to get really warm, and of course, it will start to thermal throttle, which is to be expected in such a thin and light laptop. Now, as far as the fan is concerned, it will kick in, and it doesn't get too loud and not too annoying, so that's pretty good. But for normal, everyday tasks, you won't notice the fan, and it stays relatively cool. Now, one of the most pleasant surprises and one of the best improvements over last year's model is the speaker system. They ditched the two speaker system and went with a quad speaker system. Two tweeters on the top, two subwoofers on the bottom, and the result is a really nice and rich immersive sound. Fills up the room rather nicely, it gets loud, and there's some bass. It's really good. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the all new ThinkPad X1 Carbon 7th Gen here for 2019? The answer is absolutely, Lenovo's hit it out of the park with a home run. Love its stunning 4K HDR Dolby Vision display. Love the full HD option as well, especially if you want to get better battery life. Super thin and light, very good performance, excellent keyboard, touchpad, and of course, track point. The Think Shutter Switch is great for those who want more privacy. And of course, there are things that I think they can improve on. Biggest negatives here, fingerprint magnet with the design, the average battery life if you choose that 4K HDR display, and of course, it can get expensive. But no deal breakers here, ladies and gentlemen. You're looking at my editor's choice for the thin and light category, earning a score of 93%, making the X1 Carbon 7th Gen worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the all new X1 Carbon 7th Gen here for 2019? I have to say this thing is awesome. It's one of my favorite ultra portables of all time. And this has really gone to the next level, in my, my opinion, with a gorgeous 4K HDR display that is simply stunning. At 2.4 pounds, you're looking at one of the thinnest and lightest ultra portable laptops there is. Perfect for the business user, consumer, and even the student. This thing is awesome. I absolutely love throwing this into my bag. It doesn't even feel heavy. It's easy to carry around. And that's what I really love about it. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to decide between this beautiful 4K HDR display or the lower resolution full HD model, which is absolutely gorgeous in its own right, but you will double the battery life as I showed you in this video. You'll get over 10 hours in terms of the full HD model where this is gonna give you around five hours a little bit plus. So the million dollar question is, which one do you choose, the 4K model or the full HD model? The 4K model with that beautiful HDR display is simply stunning. So if you can live with the five hours, I would definitely go with that model. But if you need the longevity, of course, that full HD model is no slouch in its own right. That display is very sharp and crisp. What do you think of the all new X1 Carbon 7th Gen? I'm a huge fan. This is my editor's choice for the ultra portable category here in 2019. And there are very few laptops that will check all the boxes. This is one of them. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.